my friends, uh, all in the UK Hypnosis Academy. My name's Carl Smith, and I'm the lead trainer for the UK Hypnosis Academy. And tonight gives me great pleasure to bring back Mr. Stephen Travers from Southern Ireland. How are you, dear sir? I'm good, Carl. How are you keeping? I'm good, good, keeping in mischief, as we were just discussing just yeah. a moment ago. And um, tonight we're going to be discussing Havening, and obviously uh, we've got Stephen coming over um, in September. But what we're going to do is, is that we discussed this about uh, educating folk on havening and um, you know we're just going to um, take you through what having, havening is for those that missed the last um, the last one and also what we're going to do is we're going to take you through some of the techniques as well so um, what we'll do then is uh, literally um, take you through the process and do it that way okay and then at the very end we're going to talk about why uh, what we're going to be doing and uh, where the course is going to be held so steve the show is all yours my friend and i'll be answering the questions in the background okay best i can on my mobile okay great well thank you everyone everyone for joining us this evening so what i'd like to do is to give you an experience of using havening on yourself because there's two types of havening there's facilitated havening where a certified havening practitioner with apply havening with you or on you. But what's also great about havening is you can apply it on yourself and you can get some great, amazing results through the application of self-havening. So I'd like to talk you through how we're going to do that this evening. Now, as you may know, havening is very effective for anxiety-based disorders, things like panic attacks, uh, post-traumatic stress, phobias, fears, uh, the stressful memories, thoughts uh, that might be still affecting you about the past, even things that in the present may be affecting you negatively. So what I'd like to do this evening is work on some of those issues that you may have that you'd like to be free of. And as you know, or may know, havening is a psychosensory therapy. So we're going to be applying a sensory touch where we stroke the arms very gently, the hands and the face. And we're going to use pleasant psychological distraction. And there's a few things we're going to do before we do it soon. Number one, I'm going to ask you to think about or remember a specific distressful memory or event that's still affecting you. It could even be something in the present that you're still feeling, that you're feeling stressed about or having uncomfortable feelings about. Now, there's two ways of doing this as well. If, you, if you're working on a trauma or say you, you're having panic attacks or phobia, think about the very first time or the event that caused these symptoms that you're having now. Or think about the most distressful memory or event when you felt those negative symptoms, the fear, the panic, the anxiety. And then I'm gonna ask you on a scale of zero to 10, the subjective units of distress, 10 being very uncomfortable and zero being calm, how high on that scale do you feel? Now, if it's a significant traumatic or distressful memory, you will go quite high. It will activate a part of your brain called the amygdala. And something called AMPA receptors will fire off. Now, we have to activate the distress to clear it. Because when the, the amygdala activates, these receptors will fire. Then I will ask you to clear your mind or open your eyes. And we're going to begin using the havening touch. Now, when you're doing the havening touch, make sure you're applying gentle strokes, firmly but gently on your arms, we will begin with. Then we'll move to your hands. When we're doing your hands, think of washing your hands gently, and then we're going to move to your face. And what this is doing, it's flooding your brain with these electrical delta waves. Delta waves occur when you're feeling very calm and when you're feeling very relaxed. It's also increasing serotonin and oxytocin, the feel-good chemicals in your brain and your body. So it's starting to lower your heart rate, uh, your, your blood pressure, and it's starting to relax your whole nervous system. I'll also simultaneously distract you. I'll ask you to imagine uh, walking through a park. I'll ask you to hum a song like Jingle Bells or Happy Birthday. Now, I know that seems strange, but the distraction helps to get the trauma or the negative thoughts out of something called your working memory. So the more distracting we can make it, the better, and the more pleasant we can make it, the better. 
the distractions we're going to be using, just in case you have any issues around these issues, I'm going to be asking you to imagine walking through a park, uh, walking on a beach, uh, walking up a flight of stairs. So, for instance, if you've got a fear of, of water or you don't like water, if you don't want to walk along a beach, just switch it to a park or even a street that you like to walk, walk down on. If you don't like the song Happy Birthday, Jingle Bells or Roar Your Boat, if you have issues around any of those songs, you can also switch the song in your mind to something more pleasant or to a song that you like. You can also do this process with me with your eyes open or your eyes closed. It generally works best though when your eyes are closed just to take out other sensory uh, information around you. It's better to kind of just go inside your eyes closed when we're doing it. After we do the evening, I will ask you to put some comments or feedback on the uh, chat section just to see how you're getting on and to see what type of results uh, South Havening produces for you. So let's get ready and do it. So I'd like you to think for a moment about what you'd like to work on. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and think about the negative uh, thoughts or memories that are affecting you or something that's making you feel stressed or anxious or fearful. So let's do this now. And I'm gonna give you about 30 to 40 seconds to really go inside and remember and picture and feel this negative feeling or anxiety that's still affecting you. So when you're ready, just close your eyes now and think about those negative thoughts, that's a stressful memory, that traumatic memory, or anything that's making you feel anxious, fearful, or uncomfortable. Picture it in your mind. Remember the pictures. Remember the sounds, if there's any sounds in the memory, any smells. And notice the physiological, emotional feeling that's attached. And I'd like you to go to the very worst part of the memory or the thoughts, the part that makes you feel most uncomfortable, most anxious now. Notice on a scale of zero to 10, how high you go. And when you're ready, just open up your eyes and clear your mind and let's begin the self evening. So I'd like you to take your hands and put them on your shoulders and begin to start gently stroking down your arms. Just look at me as we're doing this, stroking from the top of your shoulder all the way down to your elbows. Gentle but firm strokes. And just keep stroking like this and close your eyes now and imagine walking into a beautiful park on a summer's day. Imagine trees full of leaves. Imagine green grass and a blue sky. Imagine beautiful flowers in the garden or the park, maybe red or pink roses, yellow daffodils. Imagine or remember the sound of the birds singing or chirping on the trees. And with every step you imagine taking through this beautiful, sunny park, with every step you imagine taking, count out loud from one to 20, starting at one, two, three, four, five, six, relaxing with every step, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I'd like you to hum happy birthday with me for the fun of it. Or sing it out loud. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephen. Happy birthday to you. And just keep stroking. And with your eyes closed, I'd also like you just to gently move your eyes over to the right-hand side and over to the left-hand side with your eyes closed. And just relax your eyes completely now. 
and just take in a slow, deeper breath and keep stroking. And as you do, notice where you are on that scale from 10 to zero. What number are you at right now? Just call it that number in your mind. And notice how that uncomfortable feeling has reduced. Then I'd like you to move to your hands. And let's do some palm happening. And just start gently stroking the palms of your hands. Then I'd like you to imagine walking out onto a beautiful beach on a bright summer's day. Visualize yellow, golden sand beneath your feet. Sunlight sparkling and glistening off the water and the sound of the waves lapping in against the shore. And as you imagine walking this sunny beach with the blue sky, with every step you imagine taking, count out loud from one to 20. One, two, really imagining you're walking on the beach. Three, four, five, continue palm happening. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I'd like you to hum the song Jingle Bells with me for the fun of it. And keep stroking your hands. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. And I know distractions seem strange, but the more uh, fun it is and the more distracting, the better. Now, I'd like you also now to open up your eyes and just look at my finger. I'm going to do some lateral eye movement because this produces some delta waves in the brain as well. So just move your eyes now over to the right and over to the left, over to the right, over to the left. Just follow my finger, keep your head still, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And just go back to stroking your hands, close your eyes, taking in a slow, gentle breath. Just enjoying the gentle lightness of letting go now. I notice on a scale of 10 to zero, where do you feel right now? Notice how it has reduced even further, that feeling. Then we're gonna do some face happening. So this time I'd like you to start stroking very gently but firmly around your forehead and face. You can look at me for a moment, like you're gently massaging your face and around your cheeks. Now the face produces the highest amplitude of delta waves in the brain, 90 times more than resting state. So keep stroking gently and close your eyes. And this time I'd like you to count backwards from 30 to zero in twos out loud. So we're gonna do more of a cognitive distraction. So out loud from 30 to zero in twos, starting at 30, keep stroking your face, 28, 26, 24, 22, 20, 18, 16, relaxing with every number, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, all the way down to 0. And just keep stroking your face, and this time I'd like you to hum Happy birthday again. Happy birthday to you. Do, 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 do. Or you can sing it. Happy birthday, dear Stephen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephen. Happy birthday to you. Then again, I'd like you to open up your eyes. Move your eyes over to the right, over to the left, over to the right. Over to the left, over to the right, over to the left, over to the right, over to the left, over to the right, over to the left, and gently just close your eyes and continue using havening on your face, just stroking around your forehead and around your cheeks as if you're gently massaging your face, taking in a slow, 
gentle breath and just keep stroking and notice on the scale of 10 to 0 where do you feel right now now at this stage we're flooding your brain with delta waves serotonin oxytocin and GABA these neurotransmitter chemicals are increasing and flowing through your brain and your body and I'd like you now just to stroke back down your arms and we're going to do one more round keep stroking your arms and this time I'd like you to imagine you're in a beautiful five-star hotel a beautiful hotel and I'd like you to imagine you're walking up a staircase a staircase of 20 steps so just close your eyes if you haven't already or you can keep your eyes open and with every step you imagine taking up the staircase, count out loud from 1 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make sure you keep stroking your arm. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'd like you to home jingle bells again. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Keep stroking and then open up your eyes, looking at my finger, moving your eyes to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Closing your eyes, continue stroking from the top of your shoulders all the way down your arms, taking in a slow, gentle breath as you do now. Just enjoying the gentle, calm, lightness of letting go. Now. On a scale of 10 to zero, notice where you feel right now. Notice how that old, uncomfortable feeling has reduced. And just keep stroking for another minute. And we're just going to go through the three areas again, stroking your arms, because we're just stroking these areas it increases serotonin, oxytocin, and it relaxes your brain and your body. And it's quite calming and soothing just to do this, which makes it a great stress control technique. And gently stroke your face, and just notice how it feels. To allow yourself just to be present in this moment. Just noticing your breathing, noticing how you feel as you stroke your face as you use the havening touch. Taking in a slow, gentle breath as you do. Just enjoying the gentle lightness of taking this time for yourself to relax and let go. And you can look at me if you wish, just to see how I'm doing this. Stroking around the forehead and the cheeks, all the way down through the face. And then we'll gently move to the palms of the hands again. Think of washing your hands gently, massaging your hands. Taking in a slow, gentle breath. And now, uh, I'd like you to open up your eyes if you haven't already. I just take a little stretch for a moment. Good. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do a debrief uh, to see how you're feeling, to see how you got on. We may do another round or two of havening. Um, but I'd like you to write some comments. Uh, in the section there, just to give us some feedback on how you got on, where you are on the scale of 10 to zero. And 
I'd like you just to check the memory, first of all, or the thoughts that you are working on. So take a moment now and really check and scan the difference in how you're feeling now. You can open your eyes or close your eyes. Just take a moment and do a check right now. Think about those negative thoughts, memories you were thinking about. And I'd like you just to notice what the difference is and how you picture it and how you visualize it now, and most importantly, in how you feel. Some of you may be feeling a bit sleepy at this stage. You may be feeling quite relaxed. Uh, the delta waves are the same brain waves that occur when you're in deep sleep. So a lot of people often start yawning, feel sleepy, feel much calmer. So as you notice those various changes, if you could just write a couple of comments, do feel free to pull up and let's just see what the difference is. And I'd like you, if you could also just put on that scale of 10 to zero, if you were working on something, what number you're at in that scale. If you got stuck on a number, Maybe it hasn't gone completely. Maybe you're stuck on a, a five or, or a three or a four. You can also you know, mention that because there's ways of actually bringing that right down to zero. So, Carl, I'm just getting a couple of comments here. Um, I don't know if they're coming from yourself or saying the brain feels empty now. Okay, so let me just take you through some of them. Um, Rosie, uh, Rosie McNaught-Wilson, uh, the brain feels empty now. Angela Milburn, um, feeling sleepy, feeling relaxed. But I struggle to find a negative to, to begin with, which is fair news, you know. Okay. Um, still, I could remember the memory but did struggle to evoke the feeling with the memory, but now struggling to bring up the memory, let alone the feeling. That's Andy, Andy Steele. Uh, definitely feeling calmer, gone from a scale of 10 down to four from Lily. Um, Tamsin, if uh, someone has a physical sensation of discomfort, tight chest, for example, but can't identify a picture of the cause or anxiety, I take it you can get them to focus on the sensation itself and the subscale, yeah. Yeah, you can. See, when, when you're working with a, a Havening practitioner, we would obviously do, well, we, we, what we do is we do a, a consultation at the beginning for about 10 minutes to identify what could be causing those symptoms because there's bound to be some sort of trigger or memories or some sort of trauma or event that, that's causing that person's feeling. So we like to identify what that is, then use the Havening on it. Uh, that's why it's important if you're working with stuff that you can't identify or that's more complex uh, to actually see a certified healing practitioner. Uh, like if you have a very clear cut memory and it doesn't matter if it's a massive trauma, you can generally clear that within, within minutes, often in under 10, seven minutes. Sometimes you'll clear it in, in one or two minutes. People sometimes go from a nine or an eight right down to a zero. And once it's gone, it's got it's gone for good. Uh, Lily there mentioned she's out of four. If you're out of four, you can still do another couple of rounds, and you should be able to get it down a bit further. If not, what you would do there is you think about that feeling. You ask yourself, what is that four about? Is it a feeling of anger? Maybe it's a feeling of stress. Maybe you're feeling fear or there's a part of the memory that's still there that's causing a problem in aspect. And uh, there's two things you can do. You can do that type of distracting havening again, which we call event havening, 
Or you can do something called transpirational happening where you chant out the negative emotion or feeling over and over. And as you do, that helps to release it and clear it very quickly. Well, I don't want to do transpirational happening uh, tonight because transpirational happening can bring up a lot of buried stuff from the subconscious, uh, especially if there's some unresolved uh, trauma. So we don't be bringing up anything, you know, too heavy uh, over, over a live feed feeds uh it would be best to see as i said as i said a certified healing practitioner but in the training we're doing in september we'll be we'll be going into this obviously in much more detail and there is a difference when you're working with someone one to one well uh, the sensory touch of working with another person does feel quite different than doing it on yourself but you can still get very good results with self healing and it's, a, it's something we teach our clients to do, to build up uh, resiliency and as a stress control technique to just stop their stress spiraling out of control. Because once you've got these, it's very simple and easy to do. Now, what I'd like to do this evening as well is, sorry, Carl, is there something coming up there? It's a quick question that's on the screen at the moment. Yeah. Are you supposed to match the arm havening strokes to the numbers as you count? No, not necessarily. Uh, when you're doing the arm stroking, you can do about one stroke for about per second or one to two seconds. So you can be counting one, two, three, four, five, six. It depends. People, everyone's different. Some people will count quite slowly. They'll imagine walking on the beach and they'll be like one, two, three, four. With other people, it'll be like one, two, three, four. So you don't have to match it. What's most important is that you do it at a rate and pace that feels comfortable for you as an individual. Like some people like to do it a little bit faster. Some people like to slow it down. And some people like to do a combination of both. Because as you go through it, you tend to relax more anyway. And the arm, the arm stroking often slows down as people feel more sleepy uh, and relaxed. Yeah. Is there any more questions coming up there, Carl? Uh, I'm just going through now. Uh, Emma, I'm feeling relaxed, uh, eight down to zero. Tams, if you answered a question. Um, so, yeah, just let us know, those guys that are joining us late. I mean, go back to the beginning, and uh, there's a full live and a full instructional video on how to do basic havening techniques, but we're just giving you a bit of a warmer really um but yeah so uh da, 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 da. let's have a look through this uh, most people are feeling sleepy relaxed uh richard can't do anything but he's listening to you due to the fact of uh, he's at work at the moment but he's feeling a little bit more relaxed and heavy eyed so i hope that helps and someone went from an a to a zero uh, where are you yes yeah we did have an eight to a zero i'm just struggling to find it i'm going to do it on my phone yeah, somebody went from eight to zero. Uh, so, sorry, ten to four. Lily, Lily. Um, and then we've got Emma. She went uh, feeling really relaxed. Was it about an eight? I'm now down to zero. Right. When you're checking a memory, and I'd ask everyone now to do this: to close their eyes and think about what they were thinking about. You should notice a few different things. The memory will often feel more distant, like you're looking at yourself in it or you're observing yourself in it and it'll feel off in the distance. That's one thing that often happens. Sometimes people will have a blank on the memory. They'll know the memory happened, they'll be aware of it, but they can't access the memory anymore. It feels more blank. Other people, uh, the memory will seem more obscure and fuzzy or part of the memory will be missing. Generally, there's a stressing part. If there's any sounds in the memory as well that were causing the stress or visuals, they'll often uh, disappear or they'll seem more distant and further away. In fact, if you're at a zero, once we get you to a zero, even if you try and bring back the, the stress from that memory, it will be almost impossible to do so because those amp receptors that were encoded are now gone. We talk much more about these amper receptors in the training. Uh, they are always, always there when there's a, a, a major traumatic memory. That's what's encoding or what holds the trauma there from a heavening perspective. Uh, does that, is it, could anyone pull up any uh, feedback in regards to 
uh, the memory, when they think about it now, does the memory seem more distant? Is it harder to access? Is it blurrier? Is it fuzzier? Uh, do they feel more detached from it? Has the visuals changed or the, the sounds? Someone could put some feedback. Um, maybe that. Uh, sorry, what's that girl's name or that lady's name who went from an A to zero? Uh, Emma. Emma Wormans, uh, Woodmansey Harley. Yeah, I'd be interested to know when Emma, if, when Emma, when you try and access that memory, has the visu visuals changed on it? In NLP, we call it the submodalities, the pictures, the sounds ha have to changed. Because when we successfully have in a memory, a uh, traumatic memory or distressed memory, all the submodalities change automatically, as well as removing the emotional trauma. Yeah, because on the KS, when we were in Heathrow, um, yeah. Doing KS, then a young lady came up to the front entry. We had a great result there. I think, if I remember right, was that what water based? Was that putting her head under water or something? Yeah, like that? A, a lady came up at the end of their KS training in London and she had a fear of water, a major water phobia. And she'd done lots of different therapies over the years. And uh, so she came up. I'd never met her before. And she had a memory when she was a child, something happened around water. I didn't even ask what the memory was. That's another thing. You can do a havening content free. You don't need to know what specific memory is. And we activated the memory on a scale of 10 to 0. She was a 9. She was very distressed. And, yeah, within, what was it, about seven minutes, she was at yeah. 0, and it was gone. Yeah. It was a massive shift. Uh, so that's how powerful that havening, havening can be. But when we do the training, we teach you how to pinpoint the major traumas and to understand what those traumas are that are causing the anxiety-based symptoms in the present. That's often the key to getting a great result or a fantastic result really quickly, is knowing what to aim the havening uh, treatment or techniques at. Okay, good. Yeah, so okay. finding it harder. That's Emma, that is. That's Emma's response. She's got yeah. another response below here, yeah. Yeah, she's saying, yes, I'm finding it harder to access the memory and there is no feeling there now. It's a lot more fu fuzzy. And the beauty of this, once you clear a trauma, it's gone for good. It's completely yeah. and permanently removed. And any stimuli, cues, or triggers that was triggering that memory and those negative feelings off, be it consciously or subconsciously, won't be able to do it anymore. Another one there, mate. Yeah. This is Rosie. Carl, it says here, Carl, when I said my brain was empty, it was as if the submodality changes had phased out of my memory. Yeah, once again, the submodalities, the pictures, the sounds uh, around that memory change and they'll often seem more distant, forward or uh, fuzzy, blurred. There's another comment coming up here. Andy yeah, Steele. My, my memory, this is Andy Steele. Uh, okay, Andy, so you're saying my memory is really hard to access. I know it happened, but it's harder to see. I remember how anxious I felt. Okay, great. It's now, like, you have to appreciate, okay, memory, there's another one coming up. Who's this, Carl? That's Rosie again. It's like, uh, her memory's just gone away, basically. Memory's just gone away. Okay, now, we have to appreciate like this is a live feed we're doing. Uh, I can't see anyone. It's very, you know, impromptu what I'm doing. And we just did about four or five rounds of self evening and we're getting fantastic results. We're getting people dropping, dropping from eights down to zeros. Uh, people can't access the memories. The negative emotional charges are gone. And that's in the space of oh, how long was that evening I did there for five, seven minutes? And I don't even know what any of the issues where that any of you were working on. Yeah. Imagine if you were working with a client one-to-one -one in a session where you got a little bit of information about their issue, what their triggers were, what caused it, and you spent a full hour applying havening with them or you did a full session. Imagine the differences that would make. And I can tell you, as you know, Carl, uh, we can clear major trauma uh, really quickly within one session with havening uh, and many other various anxiety-based disorders. So some great results there. And what I'd like to do is just give you one more technique. Now, this is a technique called affirmational happening. 
And we use this to help build emotional resiliency and well-being. It's very good for keeping your stress levels low and for building up positive states within you. And the way you do this one is, it's very simple. You think of a time when you felt really calm or whatever emotion you want to feel. Maybe you want to feel more confident or you want to feel uh, happier within yourself or you want to feel a feeling of success. So you remember a time when you felt confident or when you felt calm or when you achieved something and you felt really, really great within yourself. So you think of that memory, you access it, and then you start havening. And as you apply the havening, you affirm the positive emotional state you're feeling. So if the feeling of calm, you would say the feeling calm, 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 or I am calm, I am calm. If it's a feeling of confidence or confident, you say the word confident, confident, confident as you remember the memory. And you do this for about five minutes. We're not going to do it that long now. We'll do it for a minute or two. Just give you a taste of affirmational happening. So, folks, are you ready? Let's do it. So, first of all, I'd like you to think about a positive emotional state that you'd like to access, feel, or build upon. As I said, it could be calmness, relaxation, confidence, happiness, whatever feels right for you. And I'd like you to think, of, think about a memory or remember a time when you felt like that. And as you do, just begin the arm havening, stroking from the top of the shoulders down to the elbow. Just keep stroking, then close your eyes and go back into that memory or those positive thoughts, remembering what you saw, those positive images, make them big and bright. Remember the sounds. And step right back in that memory, feeling those good feelings again. And just start saying the emotional feeling that's coming up. And you can just put the word on it, the feeling, calm, calm, calm. Calm. Or you can say, I am calm, if that feels even better. I am calm. I am calm. I am calm. It could be confident, 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 relaxed, relaxed. Whatever positive emotions coming up, just say it out loud, or you can say it in your mind. And keep stroking and keep imagining or remembering that positive memory in her fields. And affirming that positive, positive emotional state to yourself. Like a positive affirmation, I am calm, I am relaxed, I am confident, I'm at ease, I'm in control. And then you can move to your hands. So applying havening touch to the palms of your hands again. You can look at the video, see me doing it. And some people have a sweet spot. Some people really find the arms the most calming and relaxing. Some people find the palms is their sweet spot. Or some people find it's the face around their forehead and their cheeks. So I'd like you to start stroking your face using the havening touch. And taking in a slow, deeper breath as you do, and thinking of those that positive thought or those positive memories, or times when you felt really good. And as you do this as well, affirming those positive emotional feelings, you can even take it one step further and imagine stepping into your future or moving forward into your future, taking this positive feeling with you. And imagine yourself moving forward, feeling these feelings. And imagine how it helps you in your life. You can even imagine going into some situations, feeling more calm and confident, more relaxed. And imagining things working out better because you're feeling better. You're feeling more resilient. You're feeling stronger. And imagine how good that feels as you move forward in a more empowered, positive way in your life. 
And as we have in people, this is for the hypnotists out there, we can even layer in positive hypnotic suggestions. We can plant post-hypnotic suggestions that you have in people. This is why Paul McKenna loves havening, because he blends havening in with NLP and hypnosis. You can even say to people, I should sleep tonight. You'll integrate all these positive changes within you, deep within you, in such a way that you feel really calm and relaxed and more positive within yourself over the coming hours, days, weeks, months, and even years. So there's many creative things we can do with havening, with hypnosis, with NLP, and other psychotherapeutic procedures and techniques. And we're going to end soon, so I'd like you to take in a slow, deeper breath, taking those good feelings with you. And as I count from one to five, I'd like you to open up your eyes, number five, feeling calm, relaxed, and even amazing within yourself. Now, starting at one, rising all the way to two, taking in a slow, deeper breath at three, four, and five. Eyelids opening. Maybe taking a little stretch again. Oh, I'm feeling good. So just take a moment to reorientate yourself back. Um, notice how you're feeling. Uh, maybe think about those memories again that we worked on earlier because there may be some more positive shifts and changes on those memories and on the emotion that was attached there. And uh, we'll take maybe another few comments. Uh, and then I'll talk a little bit, a little bit about the upcoming training that's happening in, in September and how you can book now to get on to that training. So I'll just give you a moment to come all the way back out. Somebody's commented, uh, Patricia's just commented. Yeah, someone is saying uh, it feels like a self hypnosis as I am having. Yes, and see what I do with my clients and when we teach you havening, we teach you how to empower your clients with self havening. So when you're coming to the end of your sessions or program you're doing with your clients, be it one session or three, four or five sessions, you teach people how to self haven. So you're giving them a very powerful tool moving forward that they can use for the rest of, of their lives. Uh, and it's very good for keeping stress levels low and it's very quick and instant in terms of the results it produces. All you need are your hands and often the knowledge on how to apply it. It's also very good to use before a hypnosis session or before you do a meditation. Um, like we have a, a doctor, he teaches uh, mindfulness. And what he does in his mindfulness classes, he uses havening before they go into meditation. And he finds that people are getting much better meditations or people who are new to meditation are finding it much easier to go into meditation because of the havening beforehand. So a very good technique to use before meditation or hypnosis to deepen the meditation or the hypnotic trance. Very good to do at night as well. If there's anything stressing you or worrying you, do this for about five minutes. Do some self-havening and it can make a big difference. Any other comments or anything else coming up there, Carl? Yeah, there are. Just a couple. Yeah, just, are. Left, just, just, left, just put a link on. And uh, if people want to go to the website, they can click on that link there, stevetravishypnosis.com, Certified Haven and Training. Uh, just a couple of comments. Let me just bring that up. Uh, where are we? Um, the affirmation, um, Having is lovely. Um, where are we now? Bit of timeline hypnosis and havening. Who was that? There we go, Rosie. Uh, and just one just saying thanks. Uh, there's a couple there. There's a, the, the comments are coming through, mate. They're coming through thick and fast. So uh, just one there. Good demo explanation techniques and works enhanced my affirmations. Thanks to me uh, and Stephen for sharing. Excellent group. Well appreciated. Well, that's what we want to do. We want to teach and educate people. That's the key thing about what we're doing here. Um, yeah. Yes. We are showing this stuff. It's about education. That's the key thing. You know, it's not take, take, take all the time, guys. Even though we are promoting a course, we aren't asking, taking, we're giving you some, some really quality training here. 
uh, yeah. So yeah, so there's there's just comments coming through thick and fast at the moment. I mean, so yeah, there's more and more people watching. I think they're at the very beginning now. So right. interesting. But okay. no, just things like just thank you and stuff like that coming through really. So, but it's been a bit. It's, it's as ever, like we did uh, what last week or the week before. You know, I'm grateful for you to come on, Steve. Um, just a couple of questions. How much was the um, the whole course, by the way? Uh, the one in, in that we're holding here in Suffolk. I, I think it was five four five, wasn't it? Yeah, the two day training is uh, five hundred and forty five pounds. That also includes uh, the pack, which is a. Uh, seven hour d DVD with a uh, training with Dr. Rudin in New York. So that goes into the neuroscience and there's live demonstrations on that training as well. So you have a, a DVD of that. Plus you get the primer or the Havening manual, which gives you all the different techniques and how to use them on, you know, anxiety, panic attacks, phobias, post-traumatic stress, chronic pain, negative pathological emotions, how to use Havening for unresolved anger, uh, shame, guilt, uh, feelings of feeling of not good enough, worthless, all those type of pathological emotions. How do you, how to do affirmational havening? There's a technique as well that we cover in the training called outcome havening, where we can actually go back and change memories, which is very interesting. Uh, it works fantastic for phobias. We can actually go back and rewire the memories as we have, and we change the outcome of the past. Uh, so all that's covered in the training, and uh, yeah, that's included in the price, the DVDs and the uh, Primo. So that's five four five, and that's obviously the full two-day training with myself. After the two-day training, if you want to become certified, you do have to do thirty case studies uh, or thirty havenings. So be with ten different people, you do three havenings on each person, just an example as an example. Um, you would shoot two videos and you do an online science exam and we give you all the information and the support to do that. Uh, we also support you during that process and that's study and you can do it on your own time. That is uh, 300 and I think it's 350 pounds uh, to complete and that complete and that includes the full evaluation. Uh, once that is completed, uh, you're then a certified havening techniques practitioner and you'll get a signed certificate from the doctors, Dr. Ronald and Stephen Rudin sent to New York. Plus you're put onto a private Facebook page uh, with, all the, with all the havening practitioners for ongoing support. And you'll also get a listing, a listing on havening.org with your full profile, email, website link, etc. cetera. Uh, plus we hold conferences every year We'll be doing one again next year in the UK. And if you have done a two-day training, you'll be welcome to attend that. Now, I should mention that the training Carl's on the is the 14th and 15th of September, if memory serves me right, which is Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, it's the 14th and 15th. So at the moment, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put a closing date on the training because I have to order all the packs that have to be shipped in from the US. It takes about four weeks. Plus, I do have to organize a team of facilitators. Because we actually bring a team of certified healing practitioners. So when you break up in groups of three during the two-day training, you actually have a certified healing practitioner sitting with you for all the practice. Um so we're going to put a closing date of the 25th of July if you want on to the training. Uh, we have 18 places left, so it has to be first come, first served. If you want to book, there are a couple of ways. Uh, you can pay a £200 deposit now, and that will secure your place. And then you can pay the balance before the 1st of September. So you still have another month. Uh, to pay the balance on that. Or you can just go onto my website uh, to the ha the Certified Havening Training page. There's a PayPal button there. You just click on it, and you can just pay the full amount and get it done and dusted. It's really up to you. As I said, there's 18 places left. It's first come. It's first served. So, uh, you know, now's the time to book because I, if, if someone contacts me in a few days or next week and it's booked up, it's booked up and you've got till the 25th of July.
as I said, which is this day week. Is there a link or anything there you want me to put up, Carl, or Done it. you'll put, you put them up later, will you? If people just scroll through, actually, I thought that we'd uh, done it for 50 quid, so my fault. I'll, I'll put that up there already, so we just have to change that link. But there's a, a link direct to Steve's website. Steve um, is on here as well. So Steve's tagged in this post. He's contact Steve direct because this is a great opportunity. It's a great technique. And uh, Steve and Ron Rudin, you know, they're, they're renowned in the industry. It's a, it's a great, it's a great um, technique. Um, I've never formally been trained, but I have obviously watched Steve and work and stuff like that. And it's my objective to get on the September course. But, um, but no, folks, and, you know, and I hope you get something from this today and learn about havening and about what it can do for people and your clients and yourself but also you know take the opportunity while steven's in england we've got him in england um to to join us in september because you know you know it's, it's not okay you know we've got a, you know steven's coming over to tr teach you guys and it's a great opportunity and i wouldn't miss it i wouldn't miss it but that's my point of view and for those people who trust me have been on my courses i strongly recommend you go on on this course So is there any more questions or anything coming up there, Carl? Any questions that anyone would like to ask me? Anything at all? Lots of positive comments and stuff like that. And um, what I'd like you to do, uh, people, is if you've got the opportunity, is to share this. Share this with your friends. And maybe um, by sharing this, it'll educate people about what Haven and is. And also, they can follow this step by step, and they may well want to join us in the course as well. And also, well, if they've got things going on in their own life, they can sit there and Haven in their own privacy of their own home as well. So, yeah, so let's share it and get Stephen a bumper house um, of people coming along and training in this amazing technique. So apart from that, my friend, merely they're just – there's lots of great thank yous and stuff like that, my friend, all right? They're basically okay. saying, Carl's great looking, good looking Carl, good looking. <laughs> oh, no, no. They're just, uh, just all good stuff, my friend. It's all just uh, positive vibes coming all the way through. Good. So, folks – We've been on air now for just 50 minutes and, um, you know, it's been a great experience. What I want you to do is I'm just going to emphasize as well is that Stephen's given you an opportunity that if you, you discuss the finances with Steve, not myself, okay, we are hosting Steve and helping him and supporting him uh, while he's in the UK. Uh, here, just outside, it'll just be near the UK HA, um, HQ as well. So, but if you want to join us, then basically, you know, just um, speak to Stephen direct or contact me and I can help you as well. Um, the course dates that weekend, Steve, is the 15th, 16th. 15th and 16th, yeah. 15th and 16th. Okay, it'll be 15th and 16th here in Woodbridge in Suffolk. It's easy to get to. It's at Ufford Park, which for a lot of people that have done my training have utilised it before. Uh, there are plenty of other uh, facilities around. So even if you book on the course and you don't fancy the Ufford Park, which is a big spa golf course and, you know, loads of other stuff, then there are cheaper like B&Bs, Airbnbs, that type of stuff that some people utilise when they're here. Um, but it's not too, too expensive. So, um, you know, have a look at that as well. But I would strongly recommend that you contact Steve. The links are in this feed. The links are in this feed. So all you've got to do really is, is just uh, take the opportunity, click on the link, or speak to Steve directly. But like Steve said, that we've got to, we've, we, we put the video up last week and we're, we're doing this video this week. And it is because Steve has to um, order the packs from America. You're either on the course or not on the course. If you want to pay a deposit and then sort out the rest with Stephen at a latter date, that is between you and Stephen. My my job is merely to support Steve and get and and, and, and just get the message out there about what this is. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, folks, I would take this opportunity. Steve, have you got anything that you want to finish off with? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming along. Uh, I know it's your evening, so I do appreciate people's time uh, for coming on to the webinar. That's great. If there's any questions, feel free to contact me, email me, uh, maybe give me some more feedback if you wish on how you're feeling after tonight's session. Uh, any questions at all about havening, uh, about the training, just feel free to ask me. And apart from that, uh, it's all good. No, good. So, folks, we're going to leave it there. Stephen's there. If you want to contact Stephen Travis, um, the website is actually in this feed. Now, any drama's getting it, you can always contact me and I'll point you on to him. He's on my Facebook friends as well. I'm sure he doesn't mind a good couple more hundred Facebook friends. Yeah. <laughs> but, however, what I am strongly advising you that 
please put a deposit down. If you are interested, put a deposit down. And the only reason we're saying that is because it gives Steve a clear line of sight that he has a go-go course. And I know as a trainer what it's like sometimes filling courses and making sure that the venue is covered, travel expenses, hotels, and stuff like that. He's got to do this. This is his living, but he's bringing you an amazing opportunity. The other way of doing it is going to New York and training with the Brudens, and that'll cost you a lot more money, okay? So what I'm saying is, is take this opportunity. Take the opportunity to take the deposit with Steve. Go do it and go enjoy Haven. And it's a, it's a cracking tool, and I've watched it. I watched it on KS on the last course and um you know in, in in heathrow and we had an amazing amazing result an instant result so i'm really pleased to uh, to actually promote this um havening for steve ron uh rudin and for stephen and uh, stephen travers and the rest of the trainers as well so it's, it's, it's been great anyway it's been a great journey so yeah, I, I just want to say carl like this evening it's just a test all you've got this evening is a test <laughs> there's so much more to this yep this is Absolutely. And we all witnessed that on the on the KS course in um, in Heathrow. So my friends, people, I'd like to say thank you very much, Stephen, for tonight. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Anyone who wants to contact Steve, talk about anything that may have changed tonight, anything that may have happened or any questions on Havening or even to even get the deposit to join us on that course in uh, in Woodbridge on the 15th and 16th of September. Please contact him directly. OK, and let's get that done. Folks, it's been amazing. Steve, thanks very much. Folks, everybody who's participated and those people that are going to watch this later, thank you very much from myself, from Stephen Travers and Carl Smith from the UK Hypnosis Academy. Have a great night. All the best, folks. Take care. Good night.